Hey what's going on guys welcome to another video and in today's video I'm going to talk about if you should master one programming language or if you should learn loads of different languages but you just know a little bit about them. Alright guys I got this question in here from one of my subscribers in one of my videos and he was asking me something like if I should like uh, dedicate my time learning JavaScript for example and become really good at it or if I should learn like loads of different uh, languages in order to, to increase my chances of getting a job. So for example, th this will be for, for the junior developers. Uh, I've been in this kind of situation as well where, uh, where before I was like, when I was trying to get a job, uh, I was like learning JavaScript, but then I was uh, um, watching somewhere that, uh, oh, uh, Ruby now is starting to get a little bit trendy so I need to start learning Ruby because if I learn Ruby it will increase my chances and then I was like uh, uh, hearing that PHP was also really good that if you know PHP you can also get a job so I was just like dividing my time all the time from JavaScript to Ruby and then I was going to PHP uh, and then I was hearing as well, Python is so popular. And then, okay, I'm going to Python to learn a little bit. And, and basically, I just wanted to put all of this stuff, like on my resume, because I was like, okay, if I, if I knew a little bit of all these languages, it's going to increase my chances. But, but the reality is in here, when you are going, especially when you are starting out as a junior developer, when you are dividing your time from one programming language to another and to another, you still don't have enough experience, you are still not mature enough, mature like in knowledge, to be jumping from, um, from programming language to another one. Because in the end, I remember that I was going into PHP and I was assigning the variables like in, in JavaScript, um, I was just like uh, messing up everything. So really the, the reality is when you are starting to get uh, to get ready for your first job, just dedicate your time to one programming language. Because I'm going to tell you, it's even hard for you to, you, for example, if you have a job at the moment and you are learning web development on the site to, to get a job, or if you are studying or whatever you have in your life, most of you guys, I know that you don't have too much time to spend in, into learning web development. So when you are losing time from, okay, now I'm going to learn JavaScript, after I'm going to learn PHP, after I'm going to learn this, you are just spending a little bit of time with which one of the languages. So you're not really never going to become good at it. So how can you like realize which one is the programming language that you should be dedicating your time? So the, the, the answer is like quite easy. If you are someone who wants to become a front-end web developer, JavaScript is a must, okay? So this is the thing. If you want to become a front-end web developer, just go into JavaScript. Forget about PHP, forget about Node, forget about Python, all of these kind of things. Just focus your time in it because you will become better. You will know much more things. And when you go to an interview or when you will be building your own projects, you will see that you will have a lot more knowledge. Um, and basically, if you are going to, for example, a back-end developer, or even let's say, for example, I'm still going to touch as a front-end web developer. You don't know, for example, if you should learn Angular or if you should learn uh, React or if you should learn Vue.js. And now it's even coming like a new, a new um, framework, Svetlan or Slevan, or I don't even know the name. These, these, these kind of things are coming all the time. And really, you don't have the time to learn all of these things because they are coming all the time, some new ones. The way that you have to decide the one that you have to learn, let's let's say for example the framework, look into your city, the job boards of your city, in your, in your country let's say. I'm here in UK, read.co.uk, indeed.co.uk, these kind of job boards are some of the most popular ones where the most of the jobs are. I'm going to put my city in and I'm going to put my job, uh, web developer, junior web developer, whatever, and I will see what, what all the job specs they ask. And if I see that React pops the most, 
I'm going to learn React. I'm going to spend my time on it. I'm not going to go and learn Angular or Vue.js because it's not going to be beneficial to me. All right, guys. So I think you could understand in here a little bit of just focus, dedicate your time into learn one language because I'm going to tell you just one language is going to take you a while to master. I, I hear some people asking me, hey, tell me how much time did it took you like to um, to master JavaScript? I, I've been I've been learning JavaScript since since like 2015 or 16. And I still feel that I have a lot of stuff to learn because if you don't use some stuff every day, you start to forget. But uh, th th that's it, guys. You know, just focus on one thing, become better at it because it's always better to be a master of one thing than just an average of a lot of different things. All right, so that's it for this video. I hope I answered the question. I don't remember who was the one that put this. I'm going to try to put it in the video if I remember. But that's it for this video, guys. I hope you like it. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if this is your first video. And I'll see you in the next one.